could pretend I'm like this. How does he sound? I don't know. It sounds more like that. Oh, yeah. like, you're asking oh, like Gollum. He sounds like Gollum. Almost, yeah. It's, who, it's who disgustingly rappy. Uh, it's a guy named Trevor on GTA 5. There's three characters in the game. A video game. He, yes, a video game. Yeah. And he looks like him, you think? It's it, fuck. It, exactly like him. <laughs> the mustache and the hair. The hair is like it's, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's perfect. Yeah. Literally. Wow. Well, well, you think you take off your glasses? Great that I look like a video game character. <laughs> is he good looking? After shooting Battlefield Rush, I met Steven Ogg. He hit me up and said he was going to be in LA for a week and wanted to shoot something crazy and silly. Came up with an idea with a guy who puts on the most advanced pair of VR goggles and is transported into a world where a tutorial AI Steven Ogg shows him around. Like, okay, what kind of short can we do in one week? Wrote it in two days, crazy location scout in two days, and mm -hmm. then shot the piece in a day and a half. <laughs> Very fast. It was awesome. Yeah, we're heading over to hang out with Adrian and Derek Sunny. You probably don't recognize those names, but you definitely know their work if you've seen the Rush trailer. Most importantly, the Division series. Adrian directed most of those episodes. Day one, downtown Los Angeles at the Ritz-Carlton. This is a very tricky place to get in, especially if you don't live there, which we don't. Luckily, one of our friends does, and he let us borrow this place for the day. We came in there with way too much equipment <laughs> to be subtle. I think this is the first day Sonny met Steven. Yeah, in his underwear. 10 years ago, a wind energy video contest. I submitted a video, we watched some of the other, saw one, that looked really good. I was like, wow, this is like really well shot. I think they won actually the competition. Next year comes along, and a John Woo film competition. We all make a video for that. Take all our fake MP5s out and firecrackers, and lo and behold, there's a video in this film competition as well that also looks really, really good. Great color grading. I instantly recognized that if this was the same person who beat me in that other competition, I had found a nemesis. We're making these videos. We, we start our YouTube channel. I see a video posted online, a giant Left 4 Dead mashup video. This cinematography, I've seen this color grading somewhere, and I realized these are the same guys who freaking wasted us in these film competitions years ago. Lo and behold, that was when I first met Adrian. We've been hanging out for, what, like years now, and then? Like, officially, like two years. He's never came to our place. It's because you got like four flights of stairs, dude. That leads us to today. After some filming, some screaming, and pissing off a few neighbors for being too loud, we move outside into the downtown streets. The busiest intersection in downtown LA. Yeah. With 30 minutes to film this entire scene, we needed to make sure that we made the most of it. And we surrounded the Prowler with our friends' vehicles. That way, every take, the continuity will be exactly the same. Because of time, we used two cameras to get twice the amount of footage. Being that it is illegal to have a lead actor act and drive at the same time, we hired our friend who's a professional stunt driver for all the driving shots. Since Steven couldn't physically drive the car, we got to shoot on this giant green screen at our friend's studio called On The Mark Media. Thank you, Shrome, Abe, Johnny, guys at On The Mark Media. You guys are amazing. There's this tank explosion. Yeah, tank, the tank fires. We'll just... Or switching it. So, I haven't actually seen the short yet. All right, so let's, I think we can start by watching it, and we can talk about what the effects needs to be finished. Oh, bullshit. You saw probably a bunch in there. They're not 100%. Okay. We have two weeks to do all of the rest of the effects, regardless of whether or not the effects are done. If the effects are not done, that sucks, the video's going up without him. This guy named Calvin, who did a bunch of work for Mike Diva in the Trump and Hillary commercials that he did. And we also have Kyle Natal, who did this really cool Zelda video last year. Or was that earlier this year? I think they're willing to help, and I have to get the effects files to them. One lives in Germany, one lives in Canada. I live in Los Angeles. Because we had limited time, we decided to storyboard the entire movie, almost frame by frame, in GTA 5. Having a storyboard on set, it saved us so much time. If we didn't have those storyboards, we wouldn't have completed the shoot. This is a passion project. People have their day jobs. Trying to push a project across the finish line when there isn't really a budget is kind of tough. And that's where Sam and Nico jumped in after watching the project. They said, we love this. We would love to release it on our channel. To you guys watching, thank you so much. Hope you
Hope you guys liked it. To the crew, Vincent, Dejan, Alec, Hinky, Ted, Doug, Ray Chase, Josh, if I'm forgetting one, I'm sorry, but Bay, all the crew. Every single all person who came out, came out on their own dime and they really helped this project make it what it is. October 10th, which means we have two weeks to finish this. And that's important because we can't push this video back any further because there are other uploads coming after that that are scheduled. I'm acting more as a VFX supervisor on this project. Way easier. Kind of not. I end up spending more time writing emails than I do working on shots. I'm finally getting my lunch break. At 6 p.m. <laughs> I finished a few shots, rendered them out, started stressing because of how much work we have left to do. I, I don't think we'll be able to get this done by Wednesday. Calvin's doing some great work over in Germany. The issue is that he's using hit film, and I didn't know this. No, you can do great effects in hit film. Hit film's a fantastic program, I highly recommend. However, I've been sending him files from After Effects with work already done on them. Today is Monday evening. The video goes out a week from today. We're aiming to have all of the effects done by Wednesday so that Adrian can color correct it, color grade it, get sound design and music and all that stuff. And I look up at you, Carmichael, there's a light. You just had to be here to get that on camera. So we were driving around downtown LA trying to find a location that works, like the perfect backdrop, and we came across Echo Park Lake. And paddle boats. And we thought, well, that'd be cool to have Steven and myself in a paddle boat. The paddle boat renter. <laughs> he looked at Steven and he said, you know, you sound very familiar. <laughs> exactly like it. The mustache, everything. The hair, like, it's perfect. Literally. Wow. Well, you think you take off your glasses? Great that I look like a video game character. <laughs> Is he good looking? A little scary, huh? That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> this guy doesn't have uh, hair. No, he has a little hair. I mean, oh, look, there's, other, the there's these pictures too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna finish everything on this list except for the green screen shots. I'm gonna have to just wait till tomorrow to tackle those. I would say, like, you know, having a storyboard really helped. If we had stuck to it perfectly, it would be completely different. so important to stay organized, having everything in its respective bins. So for instance, if I remember while I'm working with Seth, if there was a take that I liked that maybe Steven said something this way that I really liked and I asked him, hey, do you remember this take? He would then be able to go into his bins and find it so much quicker, which makes you that much more efficient as an editor. It's super crucial that you stay organized in the post-production process. Halloween. No Halloween. See, Seth took it upon himself to take screenshots of everything that needs VFX. That way, we kind of have a visual every time we walk by, which is a nice helpful reminder. And unfortunately, I think Ren got most of them. He's doing a good job, but it's Friday and he has like, what, seven green screen or eight? Green yep, no, probably more, probably like 10 green screen shots to do. I wonder how Ren's doing right now. Oh, th that's what that light is, I was like, we were supposed to have final effects done last night. These green screen shots are taking a lot of effort. Got like two of the 13 green screen shots done. I could slap all these shots together pretty quickly, but they won't look good, and that's the issue. <sighs> I refuse to do any all-nighters or work the weekend on this. coloring in Da Vinci Resolve. This isn't really the normal look I would go for. I really wanted to incorporate really wacky colors. I used to color grade in After Effects. I kind of took all of my experience from coloring in After Effects and then while learning Da Vinci, I kind of just do the same things. You guys might be wondering why it's so dark up here compared to downstairs. Color grading, it needs to be dark so there's a consistent lighting setup. It is very important to have a controlled and consistent lighting environment when color grading. When we get these shots from Ren once he's done, which I'm assuming is going to be later tonight since he's still working hard on them, I can just drop these shots into the timeline and then with the click of a button pretty much replicate the look that I've created on, say, this specific shot. Yes, it does. It has to come out Monday. 
I managed to stay fairly stress-free on this project. There wasn't any like, I'm trying to get it all done and things aren't working, Gah! that happened on like. <laughs> Mario Skate was probably the most stressful project I have worked on in years. What made Mario Galaxy stressful is that I'd never done something like that before, so there are a lot of unforeseen challenges. And this time it was just a simple matter of there are so many effects and on top of doing a lot of the effects, I'm having to coordinate with other artists who are only doing some of the effects in a short amount of time. This is the end of the video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Carmichael does a pretty good job. Whatever, we got another 48 hours, so we got another one dropping. And then 48 hours after that, till the third one.